Hi, I'm Annie Baker. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm doing my weekly video and today I'm in Las Gatos, near and dear to my heart as this is where I call home and my kids went to school. So today I'm going to do a video on four neighborhoods that are all walking distance to the downtown area. So I like to think of the downtown area as an H shape. So think of the H as parallel to Highway 17. Most people exit Highway 17 at Highway 9. The first stoplight you come to is University Ave. That's one of the arms of the H. The next light is North Santa Cruz. North Santa Cruz Ave is really considered the main downtown of Los Gatos. And honestly, if you haven't been here, come. It is one of the most charming towns in all of the Bay Area, but definitely Silicon Valley and it's got everything you need. If you, if you didn't have a car, your car was in the shop for the day, you would be fine. So again, let's get back to the H. I'm gonna show you a little bit about that downtown, and then um, there's the four neighborhood. I'm gonna show you one house that's active for sale, one that's closed recently. So I wanna give you an idea of how far your money will go in each of these four downtown areas. Okay, let's get started. So here we are starting at Highway 9, Heading into the main area, there's a fun sports bar, Double D's. Everybody knows Double D's. It's owned by two brothers, Darren and Dean. They also own the Steakhouse, Forbes Mill, that's really well liked. So this is a charming downtown. There's always lights on at night, cute lights. Sonoma, very popular. The large outdoor eating area, the Palms. Vaslita. There's a local movie theater. Petroglyph. The Lululemon on the other side. And well, what's a downtown without an Apple store? <laughs> the bottom of the, the H. I said there's still quite a bit of shopping here. There's Sur La Table, Francesca's clothing store, Banana Republic, Steamers, that great seafood and steak place. On this side, we, it's called the Old Town. We've got the White and Black store, Anthropology, the wine cellar, shopping on this corner and then it pretty much turns residential the rest of this main block until you get up to highway 9 again you can see some of these houses kind of the they're smaller typically I mean a lot of them have been redone and added square footage but these are smaller lots this is where kind of the whole town started back in the late 1800s, early 1900s. These were a lot of summer houses for people living in San Francisco that wanted to escape the doom and gloom of the city life in the summer. San Francisco tends to be pretty foggy and chilly in the summer. So we just crossed over Highway 9, so we're on the north part of University Ave. Very similar housing older houses, smaller lots, most have been redone, or a lot of them have. It's not uncommon to see construction going on around here. So there's Campo de Bocce. I said a big bocce place. They have lunch and dinner, great food. Lots of courts, lots of bocce courts. And right past it is Los Gatos Meats, which is really popular. They have great sandwiches, but also you can get Lots of really fresh meat. So here, here's a house, 15 Monroe Court. It's this little court area that has brand new, well, pretty brand new houses. 
Okay, so I got back in my car. That car, that dog was barking. I didn't want to irritate him. So anyway, 15 Monroe Court. So this is a new house, you know, within 10 years. So it's a five bedroom, five bath house, almost 4,000 square feet. So 3,900 square feet on an 8,200 square foot lot. And it sold in July for $3 million. There you go, $3 million sold in July. Now let me show you something that's currently on the market. Welcome to Creekside Village. It's right kind of in the corner of Highway 9 and Highway 17. This little enclave of homes, there are about 350 houses. This community is only about 15 years old. Nice little community with a swimming pool and workout facility. But what's interesting is this is not your typical downtown Los Gatos housing, because typically that's the you know, 100 year old Victorian craftsman style house. So I'm sitting in front of the only active house on the market right now in, now in this little pocket, say between University Ave and Highway 17 north of Highway 9. This house in particular that's available is uh, number 214 Creekside Village Drive. It's a three bedroom, two and a half bath, and it's just over 1,500 square feet on a 2,800 square foot lot and it's listed for $1,563,000. So to get under $2 million walking distance to downtown in the top Las Gatos schools for under $2 million for a three bedroom, two and a half bath is really fantastic. So that's the only house that's on the market actively in this little neighborhood. So I drove south, crossed over Highway 9, and we're on that lower part of University Ave close to Old Town. Las Gatos, closer to the shopping. Same kind of older Victorian craftsman style houses. So there are currently no houses on the market right now, but the most recent sold was a three bedroom, three bath. It's 126 University Ave. Three bedroom, three bath, just under 1600 square feet. So 1582 on a 4,100 square foot lot and it sold for $2,150,000. So most of the houses that are walking distance to town, there are at least three bedrooms, are around the two million mark, and the larger houses obviously go upwards of three million and whatnot. But So this house is actively on the market. The address is 218 Wilder Ave, and we're in the Almond Grove neighborhood. I think I mentioned that. We're just one block off North Santa Cruz. So this is one of the most desirable neighborhoods walking distance to downtown. The Almond Grove is fantastic. Really great community. This house is a five bedroom, three and a half bath. It was completely redone. Brand new house in 2006 by a local builder. So it's not even 15 years old. It's a five bedroom, three and a half bath, 30, almost 3,400 square foot house on an almost 7,000 square foot lot. Right now it's on the market for 3,950,000. So again, this part of the neighborhood, definitely pretty much over $2 million. It's, it's hard to get under 2 million and they can go upwards of four or $5 million. So, and the further you get away from the downtown, you can get some bigger lots and more expensive homes. But it's, this is a great one. So here's a recent house that just sold, 11 Tate Ave. It was a five bedroom, three and a half bath, almost 3,400 square feet, big house. And the lot size again was pretty good, 6,700 square feet. And it also was completely redone in 2012. And it recently sold for $3.1 million. So again, you can kind of see the trend here. If it's a, probably at least 3,000 square feet newer, it's gonna be $3 million walking distance to downtown in the Almond Grove. Doesn't get much better. What a community to, to live in. You're really only two blocks to North Santa Cruz, the heart of North Santa Cruz. So we're in our last final neighborhood. We are just north of Highway 9, west of North Santa Cruz. So this neighborhood has a little bit of a mixed bag as well. A lot of smaller, older homes, not in really as many Victorians, but still a lot of houses with porches, 
Lot sizes typically, you know, give or take 6,000 square feet. A lot of new construction, people have redone the houses. So I am sitting in front of the only active house in this neighborhood currently. It's 515 San Benito Ave. It's a four bedroom, three bath that's just under 2,200 square feet. So it's a good size house. It has not been completely redone. So it does have hardwood floors and it seems clean and nice tile kitchen, but it could use a little, a little bit of help inside. And it's just a 6,200 square foot lot. So what would that go for in this neighborhood? It is listed at $1,889,000. So just under $2 million. So again, you can kind of see that it needs a little bit of work so directly behind me is the most recent sold in this neighborhood. It's 411 San Benito. Funny, both houses in this neighborhood happen to be on San Benito. But anyway, this is a little bit different. It's only a two bedroom, one bath. So it's a small house, just over 900 square feet, but it's a great lot size. The lot size is almost 6,600 square feet. So I wouldn't be surprised if someone actually comes in and maybe tears this down or at least does an extensive remodel. The home was originally built in the 1920s, but we huge remodel in the 1980s. So it's still in good, good condition, but there's a lot of room for improvement, which is pretty common around here. But what a great price. It just sold for $1,215,000. That's fantastic. So there you have it. That ends our little tour on our least expensive property too, the least expensive sold property. And if there's anything I can do to help you, any questions you have, any referrals you want for Las Gatos, I'm your girl. So again, my name's Annie Baker. I'm a realtor here in Silicon Valley and I love Las Gatos. So if you haven't already, do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. If you like my video, give me the thumbs up and please don't ever hesitate to reach out just for any information. I'm here to help you. Until next time, have a great one.